Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martini Cross Nation, and today we are going over the new seven star metal update that JP just got in their version of the game. Uh, I'm assuming we'll be getting it either tonight or sometime within this next week or so at the very least. And chances are we'll get the same exact notice too anyways, but at the very least I figure I would cover this material and give you guys my thoughts about it. This right here is the Japanese uh, update of the 7 star medals, uh, and I just have it translated using the Google Translator and such. But this is what it has to say. Alright, finally 7 star medals appeared. After the 2.6 update, the upper limit of the metal rarity is released and a metal can evolve to 7 stars. By evolving into a metal, the metal's parameters and abilities are greatly strengthened. Time to evolve the 6 star medals to 7 star medals. The following conditions must be met. Alright, so you gotta have the guilt percentage be max guilted according to its tier, and evolution materials, metals are necessary. It will be available mainly by playing PvP mode. Uh, so before I get into the, the second half, okay, so essentially what they're saying right here is that in order to evolve a 6 star medal into a 7 star medal, you need to have two conditions met, alright? The first one being that your metal has to be max guilted, uh, so like for example if you have a tier 5 metal, not only does it need to be guilted, but you do need to have the guilt all the way to 150%, which is the max of guilt for a tier 5 metal. For a tier 6 metal, that'll be 180%. For a tier 2 metal, that'll be 50%. Alright? And so you basically got to get it max guilted according to its tier. The second uh, requirement to evolve it to a six star or seven star metal is that you need to get the evolution materials uh, necessary to do so, which will be mainly obtainable from playing PvP. Now, uh, the third thing that I want, or the next thing I want to talk about for seven star metals is that they now I already, I, I mean, we, I kind of already assumed that like the parameters of the metals, stats, and such would already be getting increases for uh when you evolve it to a seven star so like for example like if your strength if the if the metal strength uh stat and defense stat is like seven thousand for each of them when you evolve it to a seven star metal it might become eight or nine thousand for each of them for example just a simple example however the main thing that i do want to point out that i thought was fairly interesting is that they do state that the abilities are greatly strengthened as well this right there <laughs> that's that right there is what, like, mm, mwah, like, ooh, that's what I was kind of hoping would happen, but at the same time wasn't really sure. I didn't really think they would actually do it, but I was like low-key hoping they would actually do it. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what like every single metal uh, abilities are in the game once they evolve the seven star. <sighs> it's also gonna be like a crap ton of work for me too, because that means I have to update my entire website all over again for all the medals, which is going to be a real pain to do. <laughs> but at the very least, all I can say is that it's going to be very interesting to get uh, Pence to 7 star. Uh, you have no doubt that I'll, I'll definitely probably be like one of those people that's going to try <laughs> and get him to 7 star if possible. <laughs> Just because I can. But other than that, let's go on to the next bit that they talked about in the post, which is talking about the sub slots uh, that are being introduced in the update as well. Okay, so it says seven uh, set metals and increased keyblade magnification. So the, the slots multipliers on keyblades sub slot appears. All right, and they have a little interesting picture. All right, it says after the 2.6 update sub slots are added to each keyblade by setting a metal in the sub slot the slot magnification or the, the multiplier of the keyblade can be increased since you can only set seven star metals in the sub slot let's set the evolved seven star metals more and more now they didn't state in it here but i i did read a reddit post i couldn't actually find the reddit post again uh, when going back to try and, and like give credit to them so I'm going off memory from what I read but essentially what they ended up stating was that <clears throat> the way that uh, the sub slots are gonna work in a little bit more detail is that uh, the higher the tier of the seven star metal that you're adding uh, to the sub slot 
the bigger the multiplier boost that it provides. So like for example, a tier 1 7 star medal might only provide a 0 .001 uh, multiplier bonus, for example. Whereas like a tier 8 uh, 7 star medal might provide like a 0 .05 zero multiplier uh bonus for example so like it, it like literally the tier level can affect how much of a boost your keyblade actually gets in terms of the, their multipliers so i thought that was fairly interesting um i mean I, we kind of already knew the subplots were going to think we're, we knew that we we're going to add metals to it uh the fact that they have to be seven star is a completely new interesting dynamic to the whole thing because basically what they're trying to do with these new updates is they're they're literally trying to force you uh to be involved in pvp whether or not you want to be involved in pvp if you are a veteran player or a competitive player uh one of the two you're pretty much going to have to be forced to play pvp in some way shape or form solely because of the fact you're going to need those evolution materials in order to evolve into seven star medals in the first place which also let you be able to uh increase the uh power of your keyblades through the sub slot uh, multipliers and such so it's it's gonna be interesting I'm looking forward to PvP I don't know I don't know quite how much I feel about it just yet about the fact that like uh it's kind of being like a required mode because um, like Colosseum's not a required mode it's more like you know you can do it if you want but you don't have to Whereas the PvP is going to end up being kind of like a required mode. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about it just yet. Uh, I guess we'll find out once PvP actually comes out and we see how things go. But uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button next to the subscribe button. It is the best way to know when I upload new videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.